still covered in its original 1977 dust. <laughs> I've got something very special to show you, thanks to my mate Richie. The very beginning of home computers, in fact. Uh, this isn't a Raspberry Pi 3B+. What I want to show you is how we've really advanced. So this um, was originally introduced in 1977-78, priced at around £40, about 55 US dollars. This is a Science of Cambridge Mark 14 kit, uh, which was uh, Sir Clive Sinclair's very first entry into the world of personal computing. This was the predecessor to his ZX80 and his ZX81 home computer kits. The Mark 14 came with a full kit of instructions, including uh, details on how to solder it together and how to get it working. A full breakdown of its internal ROM code uh, was available as well, so you could write your own programs in machine code hexadecimal. The CPU is a National Semiconductor SCMP processor running at 4.4 MHz. Uh, 256 bytes of RAM, 512 bytes of ROM, a handful of I.O. ports and a membrane touch keyboard. Without the Mark 14, there might never have been a ZX81, a Spectrum, a BBC Micro or an Archimedes, and the British computer scene would have been very different. But um, all of that said, this little beastie has got uh, an eight or nine red LED uh, uh, seven segment display on it. Um, some of the optionals that you could uh, buy for it uh, included an extra 128 bytes of RAM, 16, another Another 16 I.O. lines, and all of that could be added by installing a, an extra a RAM I.O. chip. And then there was um, the option for cassette-based and um, PROM, programmable read-only memory storage. Because originally this was a kit, so you had to build it yourself. Uh, the manual's objectives and its usage, construction procedure, notes on soldering, oh, it's going to teach us how to solder, power connect and switch on. The usage familiarization, the basic principles, the Mark 14 language binary and hexade hex hexadecimal data, programming notes, um, and RAM, I.O., and the architecture, the architecture and instruction set. So yeah, there's um, quite a comprehensive manual here, as you can see. Um, we'll just get to the picturey bits. Look at that, how to install a reset button, how to install a, a voltage regulator, and uh, here's the display. I wonder what the display is. Is it uh, hexadecimal? It must be a hex. I, th I think it's sort of eight figure eights. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe they, they... I think you can get most of the hex. Most of the hex numbers out of it. Out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Hex letters, numbers, whatever they are. Cool. Look at that. Notes on soldering. Awesome. Okay. What we've got to do is just uh, get it out of the box. Because that bad boy. Dust. <laughs> sure, you had the box. I have now. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Still covered in its original 1977 dust. <laughs> it's a Mark 14 uh, Science of Cambridge. Science of Cambridge or Sinclair Mark 14. Um, yeah, it, it needs a bit of TLC. Um, we don't think it worked. It was your dad's, wasn't it? It was, and he did yeah. something silly to it, apparently. Yeah. And, uh, Where's the um, paperwork? You've got some paperwork there, haven't you? Paperwork in here, haven't you? Yeah, look at that. Science of Cambridge, Mark 14. I did have the manual, but lost it in the flood, I think. Ooh, it's uh, starting to look a little bit rusty. and in, Yeah, it's definitely in need of um, some TLC, so... Uh, oh, wow, look at that. We've got like a... Um, yeah. a component leg that's made contact with a completely Might different something track. Might changed back years, that's years ago. That's the crystal. That's the crystal, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's not going to work like that. We definitely need to sort that out. have a look at that, don't we? Anyway, okay, so there we go. We've got loads of paperwork with it and that kind of stuff, which is lovely. This is actually quite amusing. Dear sir, owing to continuing delivery problems with the Mark 14 printed circuit boards, we regret that we have been unable, to date, to dispatch your order. Several weeks ago, steps were taken to obviate this problem by placing orders with two other manufacturers of printed circuit boards. So basically, yeah, anyway, yeah, they're, they're, they're blaming it all on the PCB manufacturers. Um, and uh, yeah, here's the uh, very original receipt for it, which is um, reference number 005802. 
I'm not sure if that's any reference to the serial number, but it was delivered to your dad in um, in the Tonga Islands mm -hmm. uh, for how much did you pay for it? 42, 42 pounds, well, three pounds sixty for extra RAM, and uh, 53, fifty, yeah, fifty three pounds and forty pence in total. So um, what's that about 250, 300 quid today, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, these these things are worth. I mean, you know, if they're in good nick and whatnot, you see them on eBay going for about 800 pounds or so, don't you? So, um, yeah, very nice. So we've got a new project to to to, to look at. We've got a bit of work to do, I think. Mm -hmm. um, we need to learn about it first, to be honest. Uh, but this was home home built by your dad, wasn't Please it? Say yes. So, uh, yeah. Well, I think I looked at it about 20 years ago, and it didn't work. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, well, we'll have some fun powering it up, I think. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Cool! Okay, so good news. Uh, we've found the circuit diagram for it. Uh, yeah, sorry, it's all on its side at the moment, but it doesn't look um, too complicated. There's the big uh, processor here with the crystal on it. Uh, we've got a bunch of logic chips here. And um, display drivers and various other things like that. Uh, that's the display driver. Um, so yeah, and then, great news, uh, uh, we have all of the circuit layout, so at the minute we've got um, uh, a 5 volt regulator missing and this uh, smoothing capacitor is missing, uh, so there's a few things to do there. Uh, we've got a whole component list, um, we've got RAM chips, ROM chips, and we were just discussing if the ROM chips have, uh, have gone, um, those will be blown with the uh, bootstrap or the boot uh, ROM for this computer so uh, those might be the difficult ones to get a hold of the rest of it though is all relatively simple stuff it's um, well, standard 74 series logic some of them are low power shop key logics but uh, none of that should be too much of an issue a few resistors a few capacitators but yeah that's um, it shouldn't be too hard to get this thing back up and running should it really be a good bit of fun